Greetings and salutations, internet friends, and welcome back to another episode of the First Time Film Club. My name is Emily, your titular, wink, first-timer. This is Matthew, my husband, Cinema Sherpa, and viewer submitted title, <laughs> Emily's Cinementor. Ooh, nice. Yeah. That one was submitted by Jeff's 2149, nail it. Not so hot with the numbers. Listen, I have, I forget what it's called, but it's the one with the numbers go different. Okay. Um, we're killing it. And of course we have Pippin. He's our cat. Aw, he's a sweetheart. He loves naps. Sometimes he naps up here. Sometimes he naps down on the floor. So if he disappears, that's where it went. Oof. <laughs> If this is your first time joining us, hello, welcome. What we're doing here is watching our way through a very long list of movies that typically I've never seen, but that Matthew has, i.e. Cinema Sherpa. Um, that being said, I do know that this is our most recent poll winner. Mm -hmm. Matthew, what are we watching? Today, we are watching the 1987 horror comedy, The Lost Boys. Oh, is it a Yes. Yeah. And as per usual, I give you the year, genre, and title. You go in whatever you already know, then we watch the movie and review it. So, what do you know about The Lost Boys? Okay, so up until recently, I thought it was about Neverland. Ooh, um, well, I can see where you would get that from. I mean, it's in the name. Um, but apparently it's about vampires. And uh, it was made in the 80s, so I've got really high hopes. Okie dokie. That it? That's it. <laughs> All right, good stuff. <laughs> the only other thing for first-time viewers, you may see my phone in my hand at some point during the movie. That's because I'm taking notes on things to talk about afterwards. That being said, I'm ready to watch. Let's go. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> I can already tell y'all I'm going to have to butcher this edit because this is a Warner Brothers, and they really like to bend us over. It's hard to get Warner Brothers movies up without yep. copyright issues. Schumacher? Is that what that said? Uh -huh. I know that name. Oh, yeah, you do. Oh, this is a bad guy. I can already tell. Wait a minute. I know that guy. Yeah, Kiefer Southern. Okay, I was just going to say, this is the 24 guy, right? Wait, I know that guy. Bill and or Ted? Bill and Ted, okay. yeah. Okay. How do you feel about a mullet? No. I think I'm going to give it a no, try. No. It's going to bring gonna, it back. Mm, it's going to be a no from me, dog. <laughs> Listen, I grew up in the land of mullets. I've, I, I paid my dues, okay? <laughs> oh, oh, God. Oh, no. Gerald, no! You think he's okay? No, Gerald got God. I've decided that's his name. Hey, it's a Cory. <laughs> hey, it's another Cory. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oops, all Corys. This is the first movie they starred in together. Really? Mm-hmm. Santa Carla. Wait, what? Murder capital of the world. Is it? It was known as that for a minute. Interesting. About it. <laughs> no, I'm like, mm, I don't know. Dad, if he's dead, can we go back to Phoenix? <laughs> Playing dead. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. <laughs> what a lovely room of death you have. <laughs> <laughs> One of the sad parts is you're going to have to cut out a lot of music. Oh. Wait a minute. There he is. Wait a minute. Hold on. Sexy sax man, Tim Capello. I have a gunship music video to show you after this. Uh, so, okay, that, like I've seen the gunship video and that's the guy. Dude, dude, dude! Told you not to come in here anymore. He's a vampire. No, not Keith Sutherland. Uh, I think I'm almost certain I know he is. This whole crew is. I think he's a vampire. That guy? Yeah. Think so? I think so. You have a generous nature. I like that in a person. What I need uh, is a job. Mm hmm. You're chasing that girl, aren't you? Come <laughs> yeah, on, buddy. Come on, admit it. You're chasing her. Yeah, nothing to admit, obviously. Sam. You know, they really do look like brothers. They both do this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a sick cardigan? Coat? Robe? I don't know. He's got what the kids call the drip. The <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dad. 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 Thanks, Dad.
Actually, I'm looking for a Batman number 14. That's a very serious book, man. <laughs> Vampires everywhere. Four comics. You like this one, Mr. Fuck. Could save is that no. a real comic? Uh, no, it oh. was made just for. I mean, it is, but it was made just for this movie. When you see uh, Corey Feldman, just, just tell me if he reminds you of anybody. Okay. <laughs> oh damn! It's just like bah! Uh, wow! Oh, he gone. He gone up in the air. Me. You're fun, people. Okay, <laughs> let's go town. Oh, got no gas. Yeah, we haven't found a lot. Wait. So we were going to town. Uh, that's as close to town as I like to get. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, is he supposed to be like Kid Rambo? You don't know shit, buddy. This is just our cover. It's our cover. To a oh Lord! Fighters for truth, justice, oh. and the American way. Uh. And yes, Rambo. <laughs> this. There's a number on the back, and pray you never need to call us. Mm. What's your name? Stop. Call your folks too. Exit. I came this close to being called Moonbeam. Ha ha ha! This is Michael. You know where Hudson's Bluff is, overlooking the point. I can't beat your bike. You don't have to beat me, Michael. You just have to try and keep up. Hmm. Oh. I would not want to be behind any of them. Oh, yeah, Kicking no. sand up in my face. No, thank you. Uh-uh. Oh, no, you better look out. There's a cliff. Oh, you gonna die. Uh-huh. Oh, you deserve that. Oh, he's got creepy, kind of <laughs> nailed. How far are you willing to go, Michael? <laughs> said, mm -mm. Mm, too spooky for me. <laughs> <gasps> the devil's lettuce. I think that one of the reasons I divorced your father was because he never believed in the closet monster. Oh, God. <laughs> That's you! That's you! <laughs> Love Gramps. You don't like rice? How those maggots? Oh no. Maggots, Michael. You're eating maggots, how do they taste? Excuse me? No! Blech! <sighs> no hard feelings, though. What was in that joint? What was in that joint? <laughs> oh. What is that? Alize? I got him. <laughs> Damn it. You love me? Yeah. <laughs> uh oh. I love that it looks like they t took like a crown from Party City and just cut it and taped it around that bottle. This is an interesting song. Okay, I got a hot take. Mm -hmm. She kind of looks like sort of a knockoff Alyssa Milano. Knockoff? How dare you? I, I mean, she's not a dead ringer for Hold your tongue. Oh. <laughs> so it's fog. It's got to be spooky if it's got fog on it. Polo. Uh, what? Come with us, Michael. This is the weirdest peer pressure I've ever seen. Um. Train! Um. Oh, you're gonna die. Uh-oh. What? Ha ha don't be scared. Oh. Oh, what? oh, you back? You got your dirty ass shoes on your bed. Oh, my goodness. Look, he's had a doozy of a day. Fair enough. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Mackie, 
Coach asked me to go to dinner with him after work tonight. Would you stay home with Sam? Hey, anything around here that might pass for, for an aftershave? How about some Windex, Grandpa? <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure, why not? Yeah, I'm just gonna drop by some of my handiwork to the Widow Johnson. Oh, ho, ho. stuff for Mr. Johnson. Oh! Oh no! The milk! Better cry about it. <laughs> uh oh. Oh damn! God! Oh shit! I didn't hurt him. He bit me. Oh, thank goodness. What'd you do to him? He was protecting you. Oh. Your reflection in the mirror. Oh. The creature of the night, Michael. Oh. You're a vampire, Michael. What that? My old brother, a goddamn shit such a vampire. <laughs> you are, you are <laughs> taking this far <laughs> too well. You did the right thing by calling us. This voice. This voice. Doesn't some might freak him out? Uh, he wears sunglasses in the house. Bad breath, long fingernails. Yeah, his fingernails are all a bit longer. Um, he always had bad breath though. <laughs> Get yourself a good sharp steak. Drive it right through his heart. I can't do that. He's my brother. Okay, we'll come over and do it for you. <laughs> Is anything all right? Mom, I think we have to have a real long talk about something. <laughs> Mom, I can't talk about it on the phone. It's about Michael. Don't listen to him, Mom. He doesn't know what he's saying. Sam doesn't know what he's saying. Oh, Lord. Mom, help! He's coming to get me! Oh, my God! Ha, <laughs> <laughs> Tickle you? <laughs> Who's there? Puppy. Oh no. Uh oh. That's ominous. Alright, maybe he's not a vampire. You don't think so? I don't know. Oh, okay. This is the 80s. Anything's possible. What's happening to me, Star? It's not, it, that's not an answer. Yeah, it seems like a pretty good answer to me. <laughs> oh. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Ooh, fade to black. You know what that means. I couldn't afford to shoot anymore. <gasps> so far, what's the downside to being a vampire? Dogs don't like you. All right, never mind. I'm out. For. My apology to Max for running out on him last night. Oh, goodness. Oh, no. Hi, Thorn! Whoa. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Thorn, what the hell? What the hell? When the dogs start chasing my mom like the hands of hell, vampires everywhere. Kill you, brother. You'll feel better. <laughs> Look, it says here that if you kill the head vampire, all half vampires will return to normal. Max never comes in till after it's dark. The dog who chased my mom this morning was his. Yeah, well, what happens if my mom is dating the head vampire? Oh. And you must be Max. You're the man of the house, and I'm not coming in until you invite me. Uh-huh. These are my dinner guests. Ah. Edgar and Alan, the Frog Brothers. The Frog Brothers? <laughs> Edgar and Alan. Wait. Poe? Mm -hmm. Okay. Boy, somebody around here has bad breath. It's the dog. <laughs> or maybe he's just a red herring. You I mean, Parmesan cheese on there? Uh, yeah. Sounds ready to be cheese and so. <coughs> Good lord. Garlic. Mm -hmm. You hate garlic, don't you? No, I like garlic. Mm. It's just a little much. It's yeah. It's raw garlic. Yeah, straight raw. Because <laughs> he likes garlic. I don't know what to do. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh. No, what? Oh. He's not glowing. I know. Hit the light. Glowing? Is he supposed to glow? Ah! I know what you're thinking, Sam, but you're wrong. I'm not trying to replace your father. Oh. I don't know. I think he's a vampire. I think he's the head vampire. And that's why he can get away with these things. He's stronger than the other vampires, oh, okay. you see. Okay. Makes sense. We are Star. If you ever want to see Star again, you better come with us now. Oh. 
Oh, no. <laughs> You're going to have to cut the music. You should enter in some kind of like Benny Hill-esque <laughs> non-copyright music. Oh, okay. <laughs> the most 80st of vampires. <laughs> oh. In the head? What yeah. the hell? Oh, no. Michael Boogan. Now you know what we are. Now you know what you are. Never grow up, oh. Michael. What's their band name? Let's see here. Snake Dagger. <laughs> oh. Nice. No, no, no. Don't kill me, Mike. I'm basically a good kid. So I'm basically <laughs> a good kid. <laughs> Feel like you said that a lot as a child. <laughs> and I was right. It's that girl from the boardwalk. Is she one of them? I have to talk to you. Can I come up? No. Uh oh. She's oh. one of them. <laughs> like Lanny and me. We're not one of them until, until you make your first kill. I was hoping you'd have Lanny and me. What are you doing? I got connections. I got connections. Oh boy. God, this was such a like Goonies this. People, you out there getting it, huh? Oh! No! If something happens down there, I'm not gonna have the strength to protect you. Will this time I'll protect you, bud. Oh. Even though you're a vampire, you're still my brother. Oh, he is a good kid. They must have been in the coffins around here someplace. Jesus! Oh. How you do that? We don't know which one the leader is. I guess we'll just have to kill them all. Mm. Start with the little one. The little one? Oh no. Good night, blood sucker. No! Oh. Hey, I'm surprised that he actually did it. That's pretty impressive. But you think they're just cosplaying? A little bit, hunters? yeah. <clears throat> you don't know the Frog Brothers. Thought they was just fooling. Oh, Lord, he's just so... Oh, Lord. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Ah! Oh! Oh, he's a good man. He upset. A little bit. Uh, oh no, he he cried. Him well, sad. He lost a friend. Him sad vampire. <laughs> Come on, stay here. Wait, why is he glitterly? Why are they glitterly? Is this where Twilight? <gasps> oh, Christ! <laughs> Love it. Seemed like some some ADR shenanigans. Yes, thank you. Mom, listen, I gotta tell you something. It's real important. Shh. <laughs> I'm not kidding, Mom. They're coming out as soon as it gets dark. Okay, stop it right now. Just stop it. Hey, there's nothing wrong with Max. I don't know why you don't want me to. I don't know. I think something wrong. <laughs> Just gonna borrow some of this holy water. Don't right? mind us. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Where the hell did you get that much garlic? From the docks. They got it in bulk there. Do they? Yeah, sure. Squirt guns! <laughs> hey, all right. Uh-oh. Can they turn into bats? Bat! <laughs> oh, Lord. Got to get a pedicure stat, sugar. Y'all better bring the puppy inside. Mm -mm. The nook. Come on. What on earth did you time up? Oh, Lord of mercy. <laughs> <laughs> Yoink. Uh-oh. How'd you get in there? Do the rules just not apply to certain vampires? Oh. <laughs> Death breath. Death breath. Oh. Oh, Lord. Oh, that'll do it. Oh, no. This gonna be goofy. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Dog. <Yeah. laughs> nope. Mm. Vampire soup. Just like Mama used to make. <laughs> oh, good. Goobly moobly. No, no, no. Why? How? What? Because. Oh. 
Squirt gun. Oh. Oh, damn. You never do this. Oh. You always gotta go with the double tap. Oh. Oh. You are bad vampires. My stereo. Oh. Death by stereo. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh. Ready. Oh, no. Holy shit! The attack of any monster! Ha! Oh. Uh-oh. Oh, uh oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. oh, dear! Hmm. <laughs> Oh. Oh. Can't tame that Impala. Might go drunk. I said get away. What's the big deal? You're I was right. Nothing's changed. He's right. I don't feel any different. I'll handle mom. Don't let her see me the bodies. <laughs> well, good luck with that. <laughs> I'm sorry, Lucy. Mm. This is all my fault. David and my boys misbehaved. Boys need a mother. Hmm. It was you I was after all along, Lucy. It was all going to be so perfect, Lucy. One nice big vampire family. Like one big happy family. Uh uh. Don't know. Don't care for it. The blood sucking pretty much. <laughs> I still want you, Lucy. Oh no. Oh no. Mm -hmm. He said. <laughs> no, oh no. No! Yeah, people! <laughs> Save the day! Oh! Oh, good grief. Oh, my boys. How much do you think we should charge him? Oh, my God! Daddy, you all right? One thing about living in Santa Carla, I never could stomach. All the damn vampires. Why? Hey, what? People! What? Alright. So, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, that was the Lost Boys. Mm -hmm. Overall thoughts? Um, it was everything I hoped it would be. Uh, especially once I found out who all was in it. Um, <laughs> it's like, okay, if you get Corey Feldman in there, it's got to have a certain vibe, um, and it hit that, so I appreciate it. It's weird, because I've never seen this, but it certainly evokes a sense of nostalgia. Mm -hmm. Probably because you you said it at one point, uh, you you mentioned Goonies, and mm -hmm. probably because of Corey Feldman and just kind of like him and the Frog Brothers, and that, I can see where that comes yeah. from, so that's probably where you're getting the it's nostalgia. It's a similar feeling. aesthetic kind of like vibe. <laughs> yeah. I loved the costuming, the apparel, um, just all of it, the top hair. to bottom. The hair, the mullets, the hair was up there. It the was, mullets, it, they, it, the hair. <laughs> Oof, man, it's happening. He, they had some mullets. Um, I loved their portrayal of the the vampire, like the eyes and the uh, prosthetics, and I'm always interested by the the what are these called? The incisors, mm -hmm. as opposed to the canines, uh -huh. um, or I may have flipped those. I'm not a huge fan of the fangs on the second set of teeth, whatever that is. I like them over here, like these guys, like further back in the mouth. Um, but that's my own personal vampire preference. Um, okay. They did not consult me, <clears throat> so it's oh, all wow. right. I believe you may have been a year or two years old at the time of this movie me. being made still ask but whatever it's fine <laughs> i'm glad that none of the dogs got hurt that would have yep. been that would have been too much for me i think that everything was cast great i at first i was very confused about the purpose go ahead i thought why is star and laddie here but they needed something 
to like establish oh no you can't just bow out of this there's innocence afoot you know Mm -hmm. speaking of star how dare you (laughs) call her knock off Alyssa Milano that's Jamie Gertz and you should bite your tongue I I'm sorry I don't know who she was ladies of the 80s oh (laughs) Good to me. Good to me. I'm going to start a new series. Okay. All Ladies right. of the 80s. Okay. I'm here for it. Do it. Learn me up. Uh, as far as like the effects, I really appreciated that. The uh, exploding uh, plumbing was great. The exploding vampire. The exploding Death vampire. By mm-hmm. The bathtub uh, was fantastic. Vampire soup. Nanook for the win. Nanook for the win. Uh, Nanook is best. Is best boy girl i don't know best dog <laughs> um i appreciated that you didn't see them flying yeah you know like i i really liked that you just had the the, the pov yeah uh that probably a, a budget saving move but it works it i mean to me it helps it helps it age well you know what i'm saying yeah i, I have a question for you were you surprised that I called the head vampire? I mean, I wasn't. I kind of expected you to. Like, I went into it thinking you would. I got kind of happy in the middle where you were like, oh, wait, maybe he's not. Yeah. And then you went back to, nah, he's the head vampire. Yeah. Damn it. Yeah. I, I overall, I enjoyed this a lot. It, like I said, it evoked a sense of nostalgia and it was just goofy enough. And a couple of moments where we're just like, just creepy or like gory enough. Mm -hmm. Um, I can see how this made a lot of people happy. So it balanced the horror and the comedy out. Yes. Um, And then, you know, the Corys were there. So that's always great. Yeah. (laughs) Anything from you before we get into notes? Uh, No, we can go to notes. Mm -hmm. Let's get in it. First thing that you... One of the first things you pointed out when the credits were going up, uh, Joel Schumacher was the director mm-hmm. of this. You do know that name. You have seen a couple of his movies, Batman Forever. Oh. Surprisingly, I mean, not surprisingly, honestly, one of your favorites, Batman and Robin. Uh-huh. Yeah, the super campy Batman movie with all the puns nipples. in it that you like. <laughs> and uh, the Shout Family out. Opera <laughs> with Emmy Rossum and Gerard Butler. Really? It was his use of music in this movie that... Uh, convinced Andrew Lloyd Webber to hire him to direct the like movie. Well, okay, yeah. okay. I did enjoy the theme, the "Thou shalt not whatever." Um, Cry, little sister. Okay. We'll we'll listen to that okay. in full. Oh, okay. Because you're probably gonna have to cut it through out yeah. of the whole movie, which sucks. But if you've seen the movie, you know. Yeah. Um. Uh, also, who? Let's take it back real quick. Sexual healing. Yes. Okay, that's what I received from Mr. Muscles McGee. Slicked back. It's it's such an interesting combination of kind of like a slick back with a perm. Oh, there was so much going on then. Then the chains, and then the saxophone, and then the glistening. Yeah. Wow. Just wow. You have you have seen him before this movie. Mm-hmm. Uh, his name's Tim Capello. He is a musical artist as. You know. Uh, but you saw him in the gunship music video for Dark All Day. Uh, if anybody hasn't seen that, I would highly recommend it. It's like animated. It's, uh, it's a influ- good song. In- Influenced by a lot of vampire movies. The main one was The Lost Boys. Because oh. it takes place. Uh, the band comes into town, into Santa Clara. Uh, one of the like main head vampires. Like the main enemy in the video is David... Uh, the Frog Brothers. This. The okay. Frog Brothers are there. Tim Capello's there. Like they brought. That's mostly the one that and the yeah. lead singer. Are what I remember from that. They brought movie. him in. They got him to come in and like do a, a saxophone part on the track and be in the video. So it's awesome. But it has some other references to vampire movies like Blade and Buffy the Vampire Slayer hmm. and From Dust Till Dawn. Anyway, that's enough about gunship. To be fair, they're a great man. Yes, they are. Very much. Speaking of that, this takes place in Santa Carla. Okay. A real place it took place in was Santa Cruz. Oh. You asked if that was really the murder capital of the world. It was known as that at one point because there was, it was was in the 70s, there were like one mass murder and then two serial killers like back to back. Uh, You remember the show Mindhunters? Uh Uh-huh. 
You know the first guy they talked to in prison, the big guy yeah. with the glasses and the yeah. mustache? His name's Edward Kemp. Yeah, that's where he committed all his murders was in Santa Cruz. It's basically they had a over a thirty month period they had twenty eight murders. That so was like Jesus. one a month. Oh on that's, average, basically. That's too many. Yeah. That's too many murders. Oh, the the uh, comic book, The Vampires Everywhere, mm-hmm. you asked if with like a real comic book. Uh, no and yes, it was created just for this movie. And but that comic book shop is still there and they still own the that copy of it. Oh, and they have nice. it. so and the first page is signed by the cast and so and he let the owner of the comic shop lets anybody come in and take a picture with it uh, free of charge from that's what I've read. Awesome. I love that. So if we ever head out there, I'm, that's definitely a destination for me. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, the two Corys. This was uh, said it in the movie. This was the first movie that they starred in together. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then this movie kind of spawned off. There were multiple movies that spawned that had the two Corys in it. Uh, they became friends because they were pretty young, mm-hmm. like 14 at the time. Uh, so they were excluded from parties that the older cast was having at night. Mm-hmm. So they would stay in the hotel and watch movies. And that's kind of how they bonded. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I told you to keep an eye on Corey Feldman. Tell me who you remind him of. It was <laughs> Rambo, Sylvester Stallone. Uh, he said that Joel Schumacher told him he wanted his character to resemble like the action stars of the day. Okay. So told him to go rent uh, Stallone and Chuck Norris movies. So <laughs> you can definitely tell he was basing his like his delivery and like his kind of mannerisms off of Stallone. I love that because you know that is one hundred percent how it would be. Like if there was a kid out there actually, oh, yeah. like I'm a vampire hunter. You know I'm <laughs> saving the world. What was it? Truth justice in the american way or mm-hmm. something <laughs> but he almost wasn't in the movie oh he actually got fired for a minute uh even though he was 14 he was having troubles with drug addiction mm-hmm. at the time uh, i read that he said that some an adult on the set of the movie uh gave him cocaine what which, the fuck gang which he was like that's what he was addicted to and so he was dealing with that, and that affected him, and he was falling asleep like between takes. So Joel Schumacher fired him, and then changed his mind and brought him back. But basically, uh, Corey Feldman said he tried to help him through that by keeping a close eye on him mm-hmm. and keeping him away from that. Mm-hmm. There's a part where you asked why they had all the glitter on him. I saw, I read that they said they basically put glitter in the fake blood to give it like a shimmering effect mm-hmm. to have. So that's why. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we also talked about Edgar and Alan, the Frog Brothers. It was. Their names were inspired by Edgar Allan Poe. Could you see anybody else in the role of David other than Kiefer Sutherland? Because there was somebody that was considered for it. Kevin Bacon. Mm Mm-mm. Somebody you might not expect. I don't know. Jim Carrey. He had done a... He had done a vampire movie like two years before in 85 called Once Bitten. No. So he was considered for the role of David. I don't know. I'm trying to think, like, what's the earliest Jim Carrey I've seen? And I think it was probably Ace Ventura was the earliest that I saw him. And that was, like, 90s. Mm-hmm. So I don't think that I would have ever put him in that. Uh, speaking of people who are considered for roles, could you see anybody else in the role of Max? The head vampire? Yeah. What is his name? It was, like, the dad on Third Rock from the Sun. Oh, John Lithgow? Yes, I could see him. I could see him, yeah. I don't know. John Lithgow is my immediately... Which like, I think that's a good guess. I could see that. Yeah. Uh, but no, Fred Gwynn. You remember the judge from My Cousin Vinny? Yeah. Oh! Herman Munster. Okay. That would have been... Okay. Hey, he's a li- I think he would have been a little too old. That's my hot take. Hmm. Uh, so yeah, that's most of the notes I had. Is there uh, anything else you wanted to talk about? Anything that sticks out in your mind? I, th- I think we've talked about everything, yeah. Okay. All right, well, let's go to ratings. Okay. You go first. As far as vampire movies go, um, I think that this is great, especially for like a younger audience. It's just enough gore, just enough scare, just enough kind of... Funny. Funny and references, a few different things. It hit me with a, a nostalgia that 
you know, was interesting because I hadn't seen it before. The, the story subverted you just enough to make you like like kind of midway question who the real bad guy was. Mm-hmm. Yeah, when you said that maybe Max is just a red herring, I was like, okay, she's off the trail. <laughs> and then you came back, I was like, nope, he's definitely the head man. I was like, shit. <laughs> Can't get nothing past me. Um, I really enjoyed this. It was a good time. I hope the video doesn't get blocked because this is an eight for me. This is a solid eight. What about you? Uh probably be an eight and a half or nine for me because there's a huge nostalgia factor built in for me because this is one like i loved horror movies and like the monster movies like vampires werewolves everything uh and this is one that like also loved like the goonies or like monster squad and this just like basically married all of that together so Mm -hmm. watched it quite a bit as a kid i can see a young matthew just being enamored with this movie oh yeah yeah so which one uh let's say nine let's say nine okay all right Pippin? Pip? Pippin? Hey, sweet baby. Uh, what would you rate this one, Pippin? Ten Lost Boy Beans? <laughs> it's not very original, but you're cute enough to get away with it. Yeah. Okay, well, there you have it. Uh, eight, nine, ten beans. Lost Boy Beans, excuse me. I'm sorry. I apologize. Uh, you guys tell us what you would rate it. Uh, do you have any additional fun background behind the scenes tidbits information? Mm-hmm. You know, we love that. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure to like the video. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do so. It makes Pippin so happy. Don't you want to make him happy? All you have to do is push the button. There you go. <laughs> Y'all, thanks so much for hanging out. Uh, we will see you next time with another first time. Bye.